Nobody who perseveres in saying the rosary will be damned. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. My dear faithful, this week we had the joy of celebrating the feast of Our Lady of the Rosary. And during this month of October, the Church encourages us to give a special place to this prayer of the Rosary. These 15 minutes of our days, 20 minutes. This prayer that our mother has recommended to us so much in recent centuries. It is really striking to see Mary's insistence on this point during the great apparitions such as Lourdes or Fatima. In Lourdes, maybe you remember, she appeared 18 times and each time she had her rosary in her hand. And she encouraged Saint Bernadette to recite it. To recite it. In Fatima, she asked during each of the six apparitions to pray the rosary every day. And during the last apparitions in October the 13th, 1917, she insisted again, saying, I want a chapel built here in my honor. I want you to continue saying the rosary every day. I am the Lady of the Rosary. The Lady of the Rosary. So it's very clear. Heaven wants us to pray the Rosary and to pray it every day. And we can see also the popes of the last centuries have strongly recommended the practice of the Rosary. In particular, Pope Leon the, Leo the 13th, 13th who wrote 12 encyclicals on the subject, insisting on the spiritual and temporal efficacy of the Most Holy Rosary. It's very interesting, this insistence for our time. Leo XIII was seeing in it, in the Rosary, a great means of sanctification because of the contemplation of the truth of salvation that are meditated on throughout the 15 mysteries of the Rosary, but also and I guess <clears throat> maybe it could be something new for us. The Pope, Leo XIII, was seeing in the Rosary a weapon. A weapon. A powerful weapon to defend our souls, to defend the Church. He wrote, for example, in the encyclical October Immense in 1891, We may well believe that the Queen of Heaven herself has granted an especial efficacy to this mode of supplication. For it was by her command and counsel that the devotion was begun and spread abroad by the Holy Patriarch Dominic as a most potent weapon against the enemies of the faith at an epoch not indeed unlike our own of great danger to our holy religion. So, our daily rosary is a weapon, my dear faithful, our weapon, the Christian weapon. You know, in this world, the only weapons that really count are nuke, machine guns, bullets, but we don't need that. These are not the true weapons. The true weapon we have, my dear faithful, this is the rosary. This is our machine gun. Which are, what are our bullets? The 50 Hail Marys will pray in each rosary. This is our strength. This is our weapon. And you know, to illustrate this power, this strength of the rosary against evil, against sin, against error, against the devil, I would like to quote an episode from the life of Saint Dominic, which Saint Louis Marie Grillon de Montfort relates in his book The Secret of the Rosary. This is a book I really suggest you to read during this month of October, The Secret of the Rosary. 
And Saint Dominic received the prayer of the rosary from the hands of the Blessed Virgin, and during his apostolic journeys, he always began by preaching the Holy Rosary. And this practice earned him much opposition, but Our Lady blessed his ministry abundantly because of that. And often, with miracles, with miraculous events, and the story I'm about to tell you is set in this context. To better convince us of the effectiveness of the rosary, we will hear what the devil himself thinks of it. When Saint Dominic was preaching the rosary near Carcassonne, says Saint Louis Marie, an Albigensian was brought to him. Albigensian was a heresy, and the main heresy Saint Dominic had to fight against. An Albigensian was brought to him, was possessed by the devil. The saint exorcised him in the presence of a great crowd of people. It appeared that over 12,000 had come to hear him speak. The devils who were in possession of this wretched man were, were forced to answer St. Dominic's questions in spite of themselves. And they said, first, that there were 15,000 of them in the body of that poor man because he had attacked the 15 mysteries of the rosary. Secondly, they also said that by the rosary which he preached, St. Dominic, he put fear and horror into the depth of hell and that he was the man they hated most throughout the world because of the souls he snatched from them by the devotion of the rosary. And they revealed several other things. So then Dominic put his rosary round the neck of the possessed man and asked them who of all the saints in heaven was the one they feared most, who should therefore be the most loved and revered by men. At these they let out such unearthly screams that most of the people fell to the ground, seized with fear. Then, using all their cunning so as not to answer, the devils wept and wailed in such a pitiful way that many of the people wept also, out of pure natural pity. The devils, speaking through the mouth of the Albigensian, pleaded in a heart-rending voice, Dominic, Dominic. Have pity on us. We promise you we will never harm you. You always had compassion for sinners and those in distress. Have pity on us, for we are in grievous straits. We are suffering so much already. Why do you delight in increasing our pains? Can't you be satisfied with the pains we now endure? Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Saint Dominic was not in the least moved by the pathetic words of those wretched spirits and told them he would not let them alone until they had answered his question. Then they said they would whisper the answer in such a way that only Dominic would be able to hear. The latter, Dominic, firmly insisted upon their answering clearly and audibly. Then the devils kept quiet and would not say another word, completely disregarding St. Dominic's order. They don't want to answer, because they know that it, this will be very useful for us. So Dominic knelt down and said this prayer to Our Lady. O oh, most glorious Virgin Mary, I implore you, by the power of the Holy Rosary, command these enemies of the human race to answer my question. No sooner had he said this prayer than a glowing flame leaped out of the ears, nostrils, and mouth of the possessed man. Everyone should we fear, but the fire did not hurt anyone. Then the devils cried, Dominic, we beseech you by the passion of Jesus Christ and the merits of his Holy Mother and of all the saints, let us leave the body of this man without speaking further. For the angel will answer your question whenever you wish. After all, are we not liars? 
So why should you want to believe us? Do not torment us anymore. Have pity on us. Woe to you, wretched spirits, who do not deserve to be heard, Saint Dominic said. And kneeling down, he prayed to the Blessed Virgin. O most worthy mother of wisdom, I am praying for the people assembled here who have already learned how to say the angelic salutation properly. I beg you, for the salvation of those here present, compel these adversaries of yours to proclaim the whole truth here and now before the people. Saint Dominic has scarcely finished his prayer when he saw the Blessed Virgin near at hand surrounded by a multitude of angels. She struck the possessed man with a golden rod that she held and said, Answer my servant Dominic at once. Then the devil started screaming, O oh, you, who are our enemy, our downfall and our destruction, why have you come from heaven to torture us so grievously? O oh, advocate of sinners, you will snatch them from the very jaws of hell. You, who are a most sure path to heaven, must we, in spite of ourselves, tell the whole truth and confess before everyone who is the cause of our shame and of our ruin. O oh, woe to us, princes of darkness. Then listen, you Christians. This mother of Jesus, is most powerful in saving her servants from falling to, into hell. She is like the sun, which destroys the darkness of our wiles and subtlety. It is she who uncovers our hidden plots, breaks our snares, and makes our temptation useless and ineffective. We have to say, however, reluctantly, that no soul who has really persevered in her service, has ever been damned with us. One single sigh that she offers to the Blessed Trinity is worth far more than all the prayers, desires, and aspirations of all the saints. We fear her more than all the other saints in heaven together, and we have no success with her faithful servants. Many Christians who call on her at the hour of death and who really ought to be damned according to our ordinary standards are saved by her intercession. Any of that Marietta, a nickname they gave her, did not counter our plans and our efforts, we should have overcome the church and destroyed it long before this and caused all the others in the church to fall into error and infidelity. Now that we are forced to speak, we must also tell you that nobody who perseveres in saying the rosary will be damned. Because she obtains for a servant the grace of true contrition for their sins by which they obtain pardon and mercy. Then St. Dominic had all the people say the rosary very slowly and with great devotion. And a wonderful thing happened. At each Hail Mary, he and the people said, a large number of devils issued forth from the wretched man's body under the guise of a red-hot coals. When the devils had all been expelled and the heretic completely delivered from them, Our Lady, although invisible, gave her blessing to the assembled company, and they were filled with joy. A large number of heretics were converted because of this miracle and joined the confraternity of the Holy Rosary. This is the end of the story. It was quite long, but I guess it was worth our time. Because we can see that really the rosary is a weapon. It's our weapon. Our daily rosary. So mighty faithful. We need to take it very seriously. And you know, 
if we weren't convinced of the importance of the rosary, if we were not faithful in the past to our daily rosary, yesterday was the last day of our life. We didn't say the rosary. Now it's time to be faithful forever to this weapon. Remember, remember the strength the rosary will give you, is giving us every day. Remember this story. And whether it is the devil of anger, of laziness, of impurity, of pride, who is striking us, tempting us, it doesn't matter. The rosary is our weapon infallible weapon, family weapon, personal weapon. This is a weapon, my dear faithful. We need to be faithful every day. And remember, remember always, remind them always these words we began our sermon with. Nobody who perseveres in saying the rosary will be damned. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.